It could be the next major hurricane, and it's barreling toward the U.S. Plus, as protests continue in Iran, the country now going after the U.S. Good morning, I'm Kara Rucker, and here's your Daily Rundown. Breaking overnight, the National Hurricane Center has upgraded Tropical Storm Ian into a hurricane. The storm expected to become a major hurricane as soon as tonight as it approaches Cuba. While the exact path is still unclear, Hurricane Ian is expected to hit Florida by the middle of this week. Both Governor Ron DeSantis and President Biden have declared emergencies ahead of the storm's arrival. As mass protests continue over the death of a 22-year-old woman in Iranian police custody, Iran is accusing the U.S. of stoking the flames in order to destabilize Iran. The woman was detained for wearing her head covering too loosely. She ended up in a coma the day of her arrest. Her death received international condemnation. Iran's foreign ministry says the U.S. is supporting rioters in an attempt to weaken Iran's stability and security. It's just the latest factor to contribute to an unsteady relationship between the two countries. And finally, Vice President Kamala Harris is in Japan meeting with the Prime Minister ahead of the funeral for former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. The funeral itself has been a source of controversy in the country. But Harris will have a busy agenda besides the funeral overseas. She will meet with South Korea amid growing tension with North Korea. She will also discuss business with Japan as the U.S. looks to expand chip manufacturing.